Hey everybody, welcome back to Free Legal Information Friday. Today we're going to talk about damages again. On previous episodes, we've talked about some different types of damages, like pain and suffering damages, future care damages, damages for family members. Today we're going to talk about a different one. We're going to talk about housekeeping and handyman damages. So you've been injured badly in an accident, a car accident, slip and fall, that sort of thing. And as a result of your injuries, you're not able to do certain things around the house or you're not able to do them as well. For example, you might have to hire someone to do house cleaning that you used to do. Um, if you're a handy person, unlike myself, um, you may have certain projects that you would be doing around the house. You might be replacing the roof, you might be drywalling a room, um, but as a result of your injuries from the accident, you're not able to do that anymore. So we have to calculate those losses, we have to calculate those damages. And we usually do so by getting a bunch of evidence from you about what you did before the accident and what you now cannot do now, or which takes you longer or you're less efficient in doing. And then also having you assessed in your house by an occupational therapist who will go in and will calculate what your losses are um, for housekeeping and what your losses are for handy person um, tasks that you used to be able to do as a result of the accident. And if you were a person who either did a lot of housekeeping or who was extremely handy before the accident, then these damages can actually be quite meaningful and significant. So that's been Free Legal Information Friday on housekeeping and handy person damages. Have a good weekend, everyone.